Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Muggle Magic. This video took so long to make and I really wanted to get this out yesterday or the day before, but I only had three templates at that time and I really wanted more, so I decided just to go ahead and take the extra time. So now I have like eight templates for you here, so it's basically like eight DIYs in one. So in this video we're going to be making Weasley's Wizard Weezes Explosive Enterprises uh, line of products. And basically this is just fireworks and I am getting it in right before the 4th of July for anyone from the US, if you celebrate the 4th of July, this will be perfect for that. If not, fireworks. Go ahead and check out the description box below for a list of supplies you're gonna need, as well as the free downloadable templates, and let's Weasley this thing. So first we'll be doing the Voodoo Fountain, and for all of these we're just going to be rebranding fireworks that we can just go ahead and buy at the store. So I went to the local fireworks shop and I bought this uh, fountain here, and I had to resize my template, kind of rearrange a couple of things to make it fit. I'm going to include this template, and as on top of this I'm going to also include the original sized one before I messed with it because I'm not sure which one. You might have to actually do some resizing of, of your own, um, but yeah, this is what I came up with. Before we do anything with this, we're going to have to uh, remove most of this, or at least just the top here. We probably don't have to do the whole thing now that I think about it because we could just glue it right on top of this. Okay, so I've got the uh, wick showing here. I'll go ahead and rip this part off. And now at this point, I, I kind of do want to take off the rest of this just in case. I don't want any of this to show through on my paper. I don't think it will, but it's a possibility. So I'm just going to use some scissors and just take this entire label off. And now it's just a matter of cutting this one out and gluing it on. One quick detail you can do before you actually uh, glue this onto your firework is uh, if you have some tissue paper or if you can get some tissue paper, um, you just cut off like a small rectangle and glue it to the top here. So you just need a piece like this big. It doesn't have to be very big. I'm just going to put a little scrap paper down so that I don't get glue on my table and then just take a glue stick and put glue around the bottom and then you can just glue this on right here at the top. And now we're ready to actually glue the label on. And when we put this label on, keep in mind that this side is going to be a little bit overlapped by this red uh, part. So we're going to glue this side on first and then glue it around. So just take your glue stick and put glue all along this side of the template. And we want it to be as straight as possible. So a good way to do it is maybe look at the two W's and imagine a line right here. So that's about where it needs to be. And now I just need to glue the rest of it down. And at this point, you can just sort of roll it on, just sort of roll it across. You might have a little bit of overlap like this, and that's okay. You can just sort of like fold it in like this. And when you're done with this one, it should just be a Weasley Voodoo Fountain. It should look like this. Next, we'll do the Demon Dung Firecrackers. And this you just want to cut out, of course. And now that this is cut out, basically we're just going to be rebranding some Black Cats. So that big package of Black Cats, you want to take the label off of it carefully so that you don't rip the uh, tissue paper and then just glue this on it. And when you're done, it should look like this. Next up, we have the Silver Sparkling Snakes. And for this, I'm going to be using snakes. And you can see right here along this side, once you start getting the box open, there's one part that's going to be glued down. And you want to very carefully open that up. Just very carefully get it open. You don't want to rip it. So as you can see, and I had no idea this would happen, but the box template that I made doesn't quite match up with the actual box here. I'm going to try and make this work, but yeah, you can tell it just doesn't really <laughs> match up. Um, the first one that I took apart like this did match, and that's what I made this template from. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get this to work, but pretty much you're just going to cut it out and glue it on, 
and then glue the box back together. I mean, this is so weird because this is the same exact, I mean, the box looks exactly the same as the other ones. So it's just weird that they had them in two different shapes. You could just uh, glue this onto a piece of thin cardboard, cut it out, and then you could shape the box like that. So you could do that. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is glue it on top of this. There are a couple of slits here we need to make so that these will fold down like this. Now I'm going to cut this off from here completely. I'm going to put some glue here and to get this to line up properly it actually needs to be like this so that it lines up here when I close the box. I can cut this little flap off and then I can take that flap and glue it right there. There, that wasn't the prettiest job, but we got it done. So now just fold along all those uh, folds that are already in the box. We need to close it in and glue it right here. So I'll be putting glue right along this inside flap, basically right where we uh, tore it apart. That's where we want to re-glue it now. So I'm gonna put it on both of those sides here and then just fold the box in, basically just reconstructing the box after deconstructing it. The box is now back together, so I can just uh, take these snakes, put them right back in there, close it up, and this is what your box of silver sparkling snakes should look like. Next, we have the exploding whiz poppers. So I'm going to cut this out. And this one I, I did print out on cardstock. And I actually designed this specifically for these small bees. And basically they just spin and zoom up in the air. So it's pretty cool. And for some reason it made me think of the exploding whiz poppers, even though they don't technically explode. So we want to carefully open up that staple and remove this top label from the bag. Next, we will just fold this over in half and then it should fit right on top of this bag where the, the actual label was. And now all we have to do is staple it together in the, right in the middle. And there you go, that's the easiest one. <laughs> Next we'll be doing Weasley's Wondrous Wands and we're going to basically convert a box of uh, sparklers into this and this is the exact same as we did for the snakes i hope this box is the same it's definitely the same brand yeah this one looks perfect okay so yeah basically just cut this out and glue it on and then reconstruct the box in the same way that we did for the snakes and the rebranded box should turn out looking like this Next, we'll be making the Wildfire Whiz Bangs, and this is going to be made out of one of my favorite uh, fireworks, which is a Roman candle. This one is very similar to the fountain that we did. You're basically just going to cut this out, remove the uh, branding on the outside of this one, and glue this onto it. At this point, we're going to do the same thing we did before, and we're going to use some of this uh, yellow tissue paper. So you want two two squares of it this time. The one's gonna go on the top, the other will go on the bottom. Now for the one that's on the bottom, you can actually cut off most of the excess because this one we're just gonna kind of twist and, and tuck inside of it like this. And the one that goes on the top, we're just going to sort of twist just like we did on the fountain. And now we're ready to glue the label on. And so your wildfire whiz bang should look something like this. Next, we'll be doing the rocket box. And I have created templates for this. Basically, we're going to be transforming a package of bottle rockets into the rocket box. First, we wanna cut all of these out. And now that we have all of that cut out, we want to open up this package and there should be about 12 of these uh, things of bottle rockets 
Now this label that I just removed is actually for this. So this is basically going to wrap around and hold all these together. And then each one of these bottle rockets gets one of these labels. For this, we're just gonna use some scotch tape. Go ahead and take the label, wrap it around the bottle rocket like this, and then just take a piece of tape and tape it on. There we go. Now it says Fantabulous Weasley Rocket on it. And once you have all of these done, well, 12 of them, you can take this part and what you want to do is uh, basically wrap them in it. We're basically mimicking how it was packaged before, like this one. There we go. Yeah, just roll it together. And then you want to take a piece of tape. And there we go. So now you should have your bottle rockets like this. And then on the inside, they are uh, branded as the Fantabulous Weasley Rocket. Now, obviously I'm not gonna do all of these in this video, but once you have them all done, we're going to uh, package them together. So some of them will, half of them will go facing this way, half of them will go facing the other way. And basically we just want to get a plastic bag or if you have saran wrap, that'll work too. I don't, so I'm gonna use this uh, Ziploc bag. Just cut the Ziploc part off of it. And then I'm also going to cut uh, the sides open. And if your bag has a label on it, you just wanna cut that label off. Now you should be able to place your bottle rockets in here and the idea is to just basically roll it up and then we're gonna tape it shut. But we want this rocket box label in there with them. So we wanna put our label right about in the middle of this plastic that we cut. Or if it's saran wrap, you wanna put it in the middle of your piece of saran wrap. And then the bottle rockets will go right on top. And then we just kinda of wanna uh, wrap these up in plastic as tightly as we can. And we're just going to tape it closed. If you have like cling wrap, that might work a little better too because it'll sort of stick to itself. And there we go. Now we have them repackaged as the Weasley's Rocket Box. And now the Rocket Box uh, package should look like this. And I know it's not actually a box, but this is how the uh, bottle rockets came. So I figured I would just follow that same design, basically packaging design. But if you wanted to, you could just make a box and brand it like this and put the bottle rockets inside there if you wanted. And last but not least, we have the small festival ball is what it's called, but it's actually uh, artillery shells. So these are the kind that just like shoot up and explode very loudly in the sky. <laughs> um, so we're going to be rebranding this as the Peace Disturber. So let's go ahead and cut these templates out. Okay, so on the sides, I've created this part. So I'm just gonna kind of glue this on here. I'm also gonna do that same thing on the other side. Now on these smaller sides here, we have these uh, smaller pieces. We're just gonna glue those on. Okay, that's done. And now we just have the very top of the box, which is this part. And I will mention that I deliberately got a box that was red and yellow so that if some of it was showing along the corners here, um, as it sort of is, it kind of blends in with the packaging. So your Peace Disturber box should look like this. For this week's giveaway, unfortunately, it's illegal for me to mail you the fireworks, so I can't really do that. But I will be giving away the templates that I use, so I can print those and I can mail those to you. Or if you'd rather just have like the full size prints just to have like as decoration or something, I can mail those to you instead. When I choose a winner, you'll be able to tell me which one you want. So anyways, that's what the giveaway is gonna be for. If you want a chance at winning that, there's a link in the description box below to the weekly giveaway. Down there, you're also going to find a link to the 30K giveaway, which is a Muggle Magic mystery box containing seven mystery items. If you're interested in getting like all the different parts, 
like the backgrounds, the logos and things like that so you can rearrange things. As well as my original layered Photoshop file that I use to create my templates, consider showing your support for Muggle Magic on a Patreon. For as little as a dollar, you can be entered into exclusive giveaways, have access to exclusive downloads, as well as polls to decide what videos I do next. And now to announce four winners for the weekly giveaway for the Hogwarts house themed notebooks. The Gryffindor winner is Eugene Jang. The Ravenclaw winner is Allison Reisenbaugh. The Hufflepuff winner is Cassandra Derensburg. And the Slytherin winner is Montana Paddock. Congratulations to you four, and I've sent each of you an email with instructions on how you can claim your prize. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.